This is a 100% wool rug that we've had brought into us for cleaning that I thought was a perfect example of how to spot clean a rug at home. So let's get into it. In this Quasar sprayer, I have about three to four milliliters of uh, washing up liquid. Now, that's a very, very small amount. You're looking at three drops, not a squirt, just three drops into one liter of water. And then I have got about 30 mils of IPA or rubbing alcohol. So what you're gonna need is a small or any size wet and dry vacuum. So we're using the Shopback Micro 4 just to suck out the moisture that I'm leaving in. You'll also need either a sprayer or something that you can introduce the moisture with. So I've just laid out here a, a small soap dish and I've put water in it that I can tamp the brush into and then bring it over to encourage the stain out with a little bit of moisture. Less is more. I can't emphasize that enough. You do not want to soak the rug. After you spray the rug down, you're essentially gonna agitate it with the brush and then you're going to the vacuum to take out the, the moisture and then you're gonna tell it off. This rug is 15 years old and it's been in a kid's playroom. So the owner informs me it's covered in everything from food to crayons to little markers, all that kind of stuff. So let's get to it. I'm gonna pick this guy here show you how to spot clean it. I want to make sure that my sprayer isn't on an ultra wide fan. So I'm just going to give it a little spray and indeed it isn't. I'm going to hold it about three, four inches away from the soil and again I'm only looking to put down about 10 mils of water in this area. Um, I'm not going to drive moisture down into the base of the rug because it won't dry in there so let's just Right, that's gonna give, that'll give me about 10 mils of moisture. My brush is sitting in my cleaning solution and I'm just gonna gently brush that through. As you can see, the stain has completely disappeared in the main, there's about maybe 5% of it left. It's gonna take a little bit of time for that moisture to work through. You're essentially wanting the cleaning agent, to cleaning agent to emulsify the soil and leave that ready for me to extract it with my little shop back. Just looking at it, I want, to, I want to give that another go. Just a little bit more moisture concentrated on the spot itself. Again, that was quite quick. Be ready with your vacuum. And the spot is now completely gone. Okay, I'm gonna take about um, a half square foot. Uh, so this area here, our original stain that we worked on, our spot, I should say, is in the center of the rug here. Um, and I'm gonna take this area here, I'm gonna treat these ones also. Um, and then I'm gonna do a low moisture clean on this section. So I'm gonna take this square foot and I'm gonna clean the spots and this section from start to finish. So again, I'm going to adjust my method slightly this time because I want that emulsification process to happen whilst I'm working on the other spots. So, so what I've done is I've just isolated each individual spot and put a couple of mils of the cleaning solution down into each individual spot. I'm now going to take my brush and I'm going to gently just agitate that moisture and cleaning solution through. And this is working really, really well. So as you can see, the spot removal process has worked a treat. So, without further ado, again, I'm concentrating in this little area here. I wanna just uniformly spray it key to this is then agitating it. Oh. Okay, and then I'm gonna go east and west. And then I'm gonna come back towards myself. So 
So we've got north, south, east, west, and I'm not scrubbing here. You can, you can see that I'm being fairly gentle with it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change over to the wider spade on my vacuum, and I'm just going to extract and see what moisture I can get out of the rope. And I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that there's moisture coming out into the vacuum, which means that we're obviously taking the soil out of the rug and into the bucket of the vacuum cleaner. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce a little bit more moisture into here and run through the same process again. This time, I'm not gonna agitate, so. Right, so we've now moved up to putting in about maybe 30, 40 mils of, of a cleaning solution, and I'm gonna back that out then. This seems to be working really well for me, so I'm gonna do that one more time before I towel off. So now I've got a clean cotton towel, and I'm gonna bundle that. And the aim here is to get the remaining soil out into the towel. You may need to repeat this process, but wait until the rug is dried. And so I'm gonna go through this now and see what soil I'm gonna get out onto the towel. And again, we're going north, south, east, west. Okay, so as you can see, we're taking the re remainder of the uh, the soil out into the towel, that's doing exactly as it should do. And now what we want to do is, I'm just going to dry this brush off, just groom the pile back uniform. And you may not be able to pick that up from this angle, but from where I'm sitting, this rug has pretty much changed colour in the bit that I've washed compared to the surrounding areas. So. Carl here from Cleaning How To. I'd really, really love it if you subscribe to the channel. There's a link just up here. Um, and we've got plenty of other videos down below. This is gonna be a series uh, for us of how to uh, spot clean rugs. I'm gonna move on to do a mercerized cotton rug next. I'm gonna do a viscose rug and the pitfalls of viscose and that material. Uh, we're gonna do specialist cleaning videos on what to do if your dog pees on a rug or somebody gets sick. Um, on a rug or carpet or indeed on a mattress. So please do subscribe. We're going to be doing plenty of really, really good content. Thanks for watching the video.